blanket strewn with thousands of crystal bright stars. A half moon even added even more light. When she was satisfied that all was well, she sat on the second step and reached under the third, searching deeper and deeper until her fingers found what she was searching for. She pulled out the school notebook that she'd stuffed under there after school, as well as a package wrapped in a piece of worn leather. Inhaling the rich animal smell of it, she unwrapped it slowly. There lay Stella's treasure, an old cigar box. She lifted the lid, the scent of tobacco wafting out and sifted through the items inside. Dozens of yellowing and curled newspaper articles she told she torn from Papa's discarded newspapers, from news stories not pasted on the wall. If you remember those pictures from the 30s, there are pictures of the cabins and they all had newspaper on the walls. Partly that was insulation to keep the cold up, but partly it was because it was words. And those mm. words were on there, and they read those words. And when the paper started getting yellow and peeling, they'd paste more paper up there. It was newspaper, it was words. They could have put something up there that wasn't words, but they purposely had words all over those walls. And they say, well, these people don't read. They had the words right. on the walls. Right. 